Here are the pants. Here are the pants. Here are the pants. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day. Now I've done a lot of online thrift shopping this past year, obviously. And I've also done a couple of videos showing you how I online thrift shop with like online come thrift with me. I talk about a little bit of the process, but never super in depth. Definitely more focused on the haul portion versus the actual like thrifting portion. So today I wanted to do a like dedicated come thrift with me online. I'm gonna share with you guys all my tips, my tricks and my secrets for finding super awesome secondhand pieces online. I'm going to be talking about Depop, Poshmark, and I know it can be so just overwhelming, but the fun is in the hunt. Oh, I just realized like I'm wearing a biker jacket with a Harley Davidson shirt. I don't know. I feel like it's it looks a little bit too hardcore. Not that I'm hardcore or anything. So now let's go thrifting together online. It's going to be fun. I, pro I, it, I believe it is going to be fun. I got my phone got my computer. This isn't necessarily going to be a tutorial or like a step-by-step -step guide. I'm more through shopping online and share kind of my purposes on going on certain different websites, what kind of search terms, sizes, brands, that type of thing. I'm mostly going to be focused on kind of like the major, I guess, online thrift shopping retailers. I do have one that I haven't heard anyone talk about, which we will get there, but another, I guess, like online secondhand clothing resource is eBay. I personally have never bought secondhand clothing on eBay, but Jenny from where I live and also Lainey Ozark, both of them made kind of like come thrifting with me ish videos where they talk about how they find like cheap secondhand items on eBay. So if you want to check out their videos to like learn a little bit more about thrift shopping on eBay, I'm not there yet, but I figured we will start out with online thrifting apps, I guess, which I use Depop and Poshmark. Both of them are very different as to why I use them, which I'll get into. I know some people use Macari. I've never personally tried it. Of course, Depop and Poshmark, you know, they have their cons, but they do have some pros. So I'm going to take you onto my phone and we are going to start out, I think with Depop because Depop is definitely like a free range type of like thrifting or not thrifting, like vintage secondhand. When I'm going on Depop, I usually do not have a plan because it's mainly focused in my opinion on the uniqueness of the item the creativity of shops obviously some people are like selling brandy melville basic tops for like over a hundred dollars but they have some really cool pieces that i think if they were say on thread up or poshmark they wouldn't do as well when i'm going on depop it's more like i want to honestly get inspired i want to find something that i never even thought that i would like that i absolutely love also specific items that may not have a brand so more of a style that I'm looking for so in one of the cases I'm looking for a corset I want a corset so freaking bad so I you can kind of see the different like search terms I guess I found I'm gonna hit corset of course I can go in to filter so I guess it would be a top. I don't really like honestly tap into any of the filter terms with Depop because in my like view, it's more like a thrift store sizing brand type. Like I, I'm not too focused on that. I'm just trying to find the exact item. Obviously, if it's not my size, then I won't get it. But sometimes I will click on the item. It's not my size, but I click on the store and they may have other items that are very similar in my size, or maybe they just have cool items in their cool shop. And now I know about them. Whereas if I would have tailored it, I mean, it makes it a lot more difficult. So take that advice, you know, to your opinion. I think if you are, you know, a little bored and you, you want to just go through everything, then go for it. I don't think I'm going to choose, honestly, any of them. I'm just going to choose the top. So I mean, not that I'm going to go through 10,000 items, but okay. So I definitely, oh, this is so so cute. This is really, really pretty. Also, another little tip just to say, I try when I'm shopping on Depop to not look at bottoms because obviously you can't return them unless you like measure yourself and you're like, okay, if they're too big or they're too small, like I can't, maybe I have wiggle room. There's too much unknown. I've definitely done it before, but I try not to because I don't want to also then go through the like, you know, struggle of then having to resell them. I probably won't get as much money as I even bought initially. I, you know, I'm saying that but I just recently bought some pants like a week ago from Depop. When it comes to buying on there I'm, I try to get things that I will know will fit which is a little bit hard obviously because if you're not looking at brands you have no idea what the size chart is actually like so make sure you measure yourself. I know my measurements because I 
online thrift, I guess, you know, pretty um, frequently. This one's kind of nice. I don't want one that's see-through, which, you know, a corset is lingerie. So me being picky about being see-through or looking too lingerie is such a like stupid <laughs> requirement because that's literally what it is. And I totally understand. That's why my search for a proper like corset has been so long because I am not here to settle. I know what I want. Um, This one's really, really pretty. I actually really like it. It is a small. Oh, it has a zipper in the front. I don't know if I like that detail though. I'm gonna go on their shop and take a look. Wow, that is amazing. It's a Harley Davidson like leather jacket. This one's nice. It's just kind of like a tank top. It's not really like a corset, but I really like the front of it. I feel like this seller has a really good like range of stuff. That dress is absolutely beautiful. Also keep an eye when you do kind of look on Depop and you see the photos, especially if they're wearing it. If it's like, oh my God, you know, that person is the same build as me. It's gonna fit me. Make sure you check the description because sometimes it's like it's pinned. So like that's not actually how it's worn. So you think, oh, these pants, yeah, they'll fit me because I'm the same size as that person just from looking at it but then you see oh it's pinned which is why I like when depop sellers then show what it looks like unpinned because it gives you like a better idea shoes wise I usually don't shop on depop or poshmark unless I know that specific brand and I'm searching for it and I know my exact size because again the whole like returning stuff and all that that's mostly saved for thread up because then i can return it this one oh my gosh it's originally from urban outfitters when i have been searching for corset tops i realized oh urban outfitters kind of does like it's not really what i'm looking for but if it's something where i do know i like that style if i can find it i feel like that's easier to find on Poshmark or Depop, but people are like raising the price on it so intensely that it like hurts my heart i don't remember how much it is on Urban Outfitters. I would recommend if you know the exact brand, more like the fast fashion brands like Urban Outfitters, Zara, Forever 21, H&M, that type of thing. Like if you know that exact item is probably recent and you're like, I don't know about the price of this. I would say just go look it up to be honest, but every reseller is different obviously. And I'm not gonna get too into it cause it's controversial, but they have to pay for gas to get to the thrift store depending on how far the thrift store was. They have to pay for supplies. They have to pay for like Depop fees. Like there's so many different like fees that go into it. If it's like $40 more than what it's actually being sold on the fast fashion website, like maybe try to find it somewhere else. Honestly, most of the time, somebody else is literally selling the exact same thing and that's how you can kind of figure out like oh what price is actually like decent so they don't have it still but i think this one is basically it it's similar um this one is 59 dollars so 90 dollars it was probably about 59 dollars as well this one oh look at that shininess oh my goodness i really like this i did want a corset top with like straps but I am gonna heart it. I may honestly get it. I don't know. If I do end up getting anything, this video is being filmed like pretty recent of when it's going to be uploaded. So I won't have like a haul or anything. If I get more stuff, it'll probably be a couple weeks. So make sure you subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. So you will be notified when that video does go up. It'll probably be like a collective thrift haul. Anyway, I like this. I am going to put it in my bag. Oh, this is cute. That's really cute. Okay, didn't think I was going to want that. I will just add it for right now. I feel like most of the time I'm just making this face when I'm going through. I feel like I'm at a good point with that corset top. So the next thing I usually do when it comes to Depop is I go into the Explore page. Honestly, I do really enjoy it just to get inspiration and to find different shops and also just different items. Like I said, Depop is very much for me a open world type of thing where, you know, anything goes. Let's just kind of go for it. So let's go into shop black owned businesses nice depop finally oh okay already just like not really this item but like love the setup again the creativity with some depop shops like and of course some people just use depop to you know resell items that maybe don't fit them anymore or that you've had for a long time so it's kind of like I'm just gonna take a photo of the item on the ground, but some people just really obviously get into it because maybe that's how they make most of their money. And this shop I am really into, also the home decor. I personally, I don't think I've ever bought home decor from Depop. <gasps> a cow print picture? This is so cute, it is $40, but this is so cute. Oh my, seven inches tall. How tall is seven inches? I don't know. 
Um, oh my god, I love this. I love this so much. I was not planning on getting home decor. Okay, you see? Open yourself up to what can be. So I am going to, I'm just gonna add it in my bag. That's really cool. I'm gonna buy it. Okay, give me a sec. <laughs> that is really exciting. Okay, and I think like on Depop, I try to wait to purchase things until I have that like feeling like, oh my god, I absolutely like need this in my life. I also really enjoy Depop of like styling tips where I'm like, oh, I never thought of putting that together. That's why I like when there's a lot of like creativity with shops and outfits. Obviously, I feel like items will sell a lot more if they're styled. So I, it's kind of almost like Pinterest, but it's like, I, but I could buy that. I could buy that right now. <sighs> it's always the cat shirts that get me. That is one thing I have to like be careful of is buying cat shirts and sweatshirts because Depop has such amazing ones. Oh, this Backstreet Boy shirt is so good. It is $80. Oh, it's already sold. Okay, that makes sense. I also want to find some faux leather pants. Actually, that is going to bring us into Poshmark actually. Now I do still have two things in my cart, which I'm still like, I think I'm definitely pretty set on the corset. The other top, I'm not too sure. So I think I'm going to like put pause on it and go back. And I always say if it ends up selling, then like that's awesome for the person and it just was not meant to be. Let's go into Poshmark. Now I haven't been honestly thrifting on Poshmark too often because Poshmark is very similar to ThreadUp for me. I usually only go on there if I have a purpose of a specific item. It is more like brand focused. And to be honest, I am, Poshmark is my favorite way to thrift online because the app is so chaotic. Like, I don't know why it gives me so much anxiety, but I am going to go in and I'm specifically looking for Aritzia vegan leather pants. Well, they're from Aritzia, but they're originally from Wilfred, I think. If I find something that's from a fast fashion brand or even a sustainable and ethical brand, and it's something where it's very popular, it's most likely being resold on Poshmark because somebody bought it, the size doesn't work, they don't even like the style, anymore and I feel like a lot of things that were trends end up going on Poshmark specifically American Apparel tennis skirts I was really into them a couple of months ago and I found one actually on Depop but I found a bunch on Poshmark so that's something where you're really looking for something very specific okay let's do so in this case I do change the size because I'm looking for something very specific so there's no reason for me like not to. Here's some, this one's $125. Are these green? They look kind of green. Yeah, these ones are green, which I want specifically the black ones. These ones are only $89. They said they had to get a smaller size. I'm gonna like it. These are nice. They're $138. So they're really only $10 less, which with then shipping and like Depop or not Depop fees, but Poshmark fees, it's not really, it would make more sense for me to just buy it on Aritzia. <laughs> Seems like, yeah, I guess they actually don't have it on here is sad. Any other like tips for Poshmark that I haven't said, honestly, it's just more, in my opinion, focused on the brand and just be very specific in your searching. Obviously for any of these, if you have tips on like how to find really cute stuff or anything that I haven't mentioned, definitely let me know in the comments down below. We are going to go on to ThreadUp. Now I just recently, not recently, I mean, I just did a sponsorship with ThreadUp, so I'm not gonna like go too in depth, but it is something that people thrift shop or buy secondhand. Obviously there's a lot of controversies with ThreadUp, I have shared my own opinion about, you know, pricing and how they are, but they do serve a purpose. And one of my favorite things about ThreadUp is returning. Yes. If I'm looking for a specific bottom, a dress, a top that I'm not really sure about sizing, getting on ThreadUp is kind of a really awesome thing because then I can return it versus trying to resell it or then just redonating it, which anytime I throw something online or even in person, my intention is to never resell it or like redonate it or anything. I really, really want to love it. And so with sizing, obviously if it doesn't fit, like it doesn't fit. You can try, you know, to give it to a family member or a friend, but it is really nice that then you can just return it. Obviously you have to pay a fee though. So I try to make sure like, if I have to pay a fee for this, am I okay with that? It's very similar to Poshmark where if I'm looking for a certain brand, I will go on to ThreadUp, but I don't really focus on the exact item. I will focus more on the brand. So the brands that I will usually always search for are Zara, Topshop, that's about it, honestly. Other than that, I don't really search for any other brand. ThreadUp, 
is it's a lot it is a journey it is a struggle and so you're gonna need a snack and some water imagine going to the goodwill outlet not the pricing but more just the idea of searching and most of the stuff isn't gonna work out for you but then you find that one thing and you're like this was totally worth it that's how i see thread up now the leather pants one although i'm not looking for well i was looking for a specific brand but honestly i don't think i would be able to find it on poshmark i can search for pants that are high rise and leather or faux leather and so that's kind of my favorite i guess way to use thread up if i am looking for a specific thing not necessarily a certain brand so let's go into high rise i find with the high rise um filter it's they aren't always high rise here are the pants here are the pants here are the pants here are the pants i specifically want some pants with belt loops because in the event that they're like a one size too big they may fit perfectly then just with a belt and you know maybe it's not worth doing the back and forth and I'm like well i can just wear it with a belt so i like to do that honestly this is probably the only thing i'm really gonna look for on thread up because there's nothing specific although i will show you my like section because that's a great way to i guess like things that you like and if you decide you want to get it later then you can go back these pants these pretty little theme pants they are cute i'm not a lover of the paper bag so i don't think i'm gonna get them also like the color isn't exactly what i was kind of going for but let's go into my likes which it'll say like oh what's still available this blue leather jacket now these are things that i just that randomly like came up when I was going through specifically dresses or like jackets. It's just nice to like, oh, I remember I like that. Now that's not in my cart, is it something I still wanna get? This white one, I have been wanting a skirt like this. I may end up getting it, but then also this light pink one is very beautiful, but I feel like it made me a little bit see-through. I may put some stuff in my cart. It stays in there for about four hours, I think, and then I may just come back, which I do a lot with Red Up because, again, it's very overwhelming. It's like when you go to the thrift store and you just put everything in your cart, and then as you're like walking through the thrift store, you're like, actually, I don't know, I don't really like that. And sometimes maybe it's just competitive where I'm like, I don't want anyone else to get it, but then, you know, I have it in there for around an hour and I'm like, okay, someone else can take it. This dress is really cute. As you can see, it's very much focused on Topshop and Zara, and I just have found the best, specifically with my style, best outcome of searching for those specific brands. Obviously, you know, whatever brands that you really like. Also, Pinterest. Pinterest is my best friend. And if I am wanting to get some inspiration, I probably should, should have said that at the beginning. Pinterest is, for me at least, that's where if I am wanting a certain style or a certain item or I wanna know how to style a certain item, I know I want a specific item, but I don't know how to style it, searching on there that it would go with my style versus just buying it because it's a trend. That's a, a little tip. I'm gonna leave that stuff in my cart right now. There is some final sale stuff, which at that point then I can't return it. Also, I can get $10 off my order, which is great, but we'll come back because I'm definitely not gonna spend $127 on ThreadUp today. This next company I wanted to talk about is called Thrilling, and I just recently found them. I literally Googled I think online vintage thrift shops. And this was the first one that came up and I actually did buy some stuff already, which will be in a different video. My favorite thing about them is they allow returns. Let me see if there's like a, okay. So it's an online marketplace of vintage secondhand items from the best boutiques across the United States. They host over 250 stores and more than a hundred cities. And they are also a black and women owned business where they celebrate diversity and 95% of their stores are women and or POC owned. It definitely takes some like getting used to the style of it. Like I'm still kind of getting used to it. I did find shorts on there because you can look at like jeans and bottoms they have they have so many wedding dresses like wish i would have wish i would have seen that but if we go to tops and they have like shoes accessories they have really cool like vintage accessories they do have some more like mature clothing because it, it is coming from vintage stores so if you find an item that you do like like if i really enjoy this which <laughs> it's a picnic base vest which is so me i actually really like this this is so cool but you can also click on um the actual like brand so if you're like oh i really like that brand do they have anything more you can click on it but at the top so this one is a bedlam kitten and oh my god that's so cute it'll like say something about the venture store and then i'll have just a bunch of stuff so if you want to just buy from that company or not that company that vintage store then you can obviously but a lot of the pieces are very unique and 
and you are supporting a really cool company. Oh, like these are cute. They are 80s brown high waist leather pants. I don't know about the style. Some of them do have um, mannequins, some of them don't. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. I think it's honestly like a combination of thread up and depop together. You can also do the same thing with filters. So I can filter the size that I want, the price, the material, the color, even the era, which is amazing. Oh my gosh. So I saw this the other day. I freaking love it. It is $48. So I don't know about a crew neck $48, but I just love the word on there. I mean, it says dance, but specifically those pastel colors in like different colors. It's just absolutely amazing. I did find a lot of Harley Davidson. So just want to put that out there. I almost bought like a $50 Harley Davidson shirt on this shop because they have a lot. They also have um, collections. So if you're specifically looking for a 1970s style clothing, not just a specific like top or bottom. They also have a plus size section, which is absolutely amazing. The bridal collection, black vintage. I think I am quickly gonna go through like the thrilling website. There isn't anything specific that I'm looking for, but honestly, just for funsies, maybe we can find, I don't know. I feel like the leather pants may be a little bit expensive there. Oh my God, these disco pants are amazing. So cool. Like, I feel like if you could find some really awesome stuff on here. Oh, they have some vintage Levi's on here. And again, they have the sizing, so you can change that. Sorry, my memory card just became full, so I had to import the footage. Now, as my memory card was importing, I ended up purchasing two things. One from Thrilling, this cat shirt, so excited about. And then that pink skirt from Topshop or from ThreadUp. So I ended up only purchasing three themes. Like I said, I will be including them in a thrift haul. When they do arrive, I ended up getting a home decor item, which I did not think was going to happen. And that's the thing you kind of, you have to let, you know, things flow, have a plan, but also be completely open. That corset from Depop, as much as I like it, I mean, it's not even really a corset. I think because there isn't too much room for you to change the size, like it's just a zipper. There isn't like a tie or anything. So it says it's a medium, but I'm quite flat chested. Would a small work better? Is a medium then too small even? Would a larger look work better? I don't know. I could check the measurements and all that jazz, but I don't think I love, love it, which is why I say definitely like put it in your cart or like it, but don't buy it yet and wait a good like 20, 30 minutes because you may decide that even if nobody bought it and it's still available, they actually don't really like it. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know any of your tips and tricks for online thrifting right down below or any apps or websites that I didn't mention. I know there are so many different ones and I think when people refer them, then I'm like, oh, I should try that because I, I trust you. So definitely let me know, let us all know and hopefully you guys enjoyed just like thrifting with me. If you guys would like to be notified when that video goes up, then make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell to be notified for it. I don't know why I can't do that transition of wording. Um, but anyway, if you guys would also like to follow me on Instagram, Alex and Shane 83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Enjoy life. Be happy. And I love you lots. Oh, why am I starting to wave out? I love you lots. Oh my goodness. Ah! Anyway, um, bye. <laughs>